All right, drivers behind the lines. Let's get this match going in three, two, one, go. And here we go. Qualification match number 21. Millennium Falcon 1690 getting together. The, the world champions flying up in the air a couple inches as Millennium Falcons win those collisions. And the Blue Alliance pulls ahead after Autonomous. 80, 33, 36, 47, both getting together. As Cedar Park Robotics send notes downfield towards 581, the Blazing Bulldogs. 1156, 80, 33, seem to be passing for this Red Alliance as 1690 orbit. Get ready to clean up notes on the Red Alliance wing. Red Alliance now ahead after Autonomous by just one point. With the Blue Alliance looking to change that. A shot for Millennium Falcons. It's 36-63 also. Pass notes downfield. 11.56 and 80-33. Both passing notes towards 16.90. The reigning world champions. 36-47 stealing a note from underneath the blue, uh, the red alliance wing. As they send in some shots into the blue alliance speaker. 1690 grabbing another note from underneath their stage. Amplified shots going in on the Blue Alliance side, pulling them closer. We have just a six point difference now between these teams as 3663 continue to pass for this Blue Alliance. 1156. Now trying to search for game pieces by that source. 11.56 now spinning their way downfield. Looks like they might have pivoted to some situational defense trying to stop the passing of this Blue Alliance. Red Alliance still holding their lead, 87 to 78. 30 seconds left. 36.47 now chasing Orbit around the field as Orbit make their way back towards the Red Alliance. And they're sending up an amplified shot, pulling further ahead of the Blue Alliance. 15 points. 15 seconds now remaining in this match. 581 getting lined up with the Blue Alliance stage. 8033 seem to be up for your Red Alliance. Their partners also both up as time expires on our 21st qualification match. All right, we got a score from that last match going up. Taking the win is the Red Alliance, 111 to 86. Three ranking points awarded. Pretty cool stuff. All right, Mason and Adrian, what do you got for us? Well, a great win for that Red Alliance, but um, Team 8033 with only three ranking points does drop from the number two to the number three ranked position. That's how much one ranking point can affect that match. But, I mean, that match from the Red Alliance um, was really interesting. Um, they had 1690 playing the front robot, um, and they don't normally get past uh, rings past to them in that front zone very often. Um, and so they uh, looked at times uh, when they were running out of rings because they were scoring so fast um, and kind of not really knowing what to, I mean, if you don't have any rings because you're scoring them so fast, I guess that's a good problem to have, um, but Blue just couldn't really keep up. They were also uh, getting rings, uh, doing that passing strategy with 581 in that front zone, um, and it just seemed like they couldn't keep up with the pace of 1690. One of the funnest things about that match for me was in the first 10 seconds, we had two major collisions on that center line, which is something unique about this game is that robots are allowed to make contact during autonomous mode and just Technology has gotten so good that these robots respond. They smash into each other, fighting over one note, they back up, and then they do it again over 
They do it again <laughs> over a second note. And, and we've never seen a game like this before. Yeah, that race for those center notes uh, has been, you know, just kind of like a game of cat and mouse all season uh, with teams deciding, okay, should I go for the one that they're going to go for and, and, and smack into them? Or should I just avoid the collision altogether? I'm going to go for the opposite one. I'll give away that note, but at least I know I'm going to get my own. And it really is, um, you know, a decision that you can make in every match, uh, depending on whether you think it's going to be, you know, maybe the match is going to come down to getting that one note in autonomous mode. Um, we saw a lot of matches uh, decided by a note or less this season. Well, looking ahead for match number 22, it looks like on the Blue Alliance, we have a PNW Team 6, 6443 aimbot uh, playing with uh, the Graybots and also uh, Homestead Robotics. Um, they are also uh, from the state of California. Uh, and it looks like in this match, um, again, all three of these teams have about equal firepower according to the stats that we're looking at. Um, so what do you see on the Red Alliance? What do you expect for them to bring to the table? Well, 2046 Bare Metal, has, they won three or four events in the P&W this year. So they are, they're likely to be the heavy score in this match. 6036 Peninsula Robotics really is, has come into their own the last few seasons where they've just added a lot of automation and technology to their robots. Um, just last year, they started out with such a simple robot and just kept adding onto it at each tournament, adding an intake, getting better and better. And then we see the continuous positive trend into the 2024 season. So really been impressed with them, watching them grow. And then 9442 Miso is another P&W team, really stacked on the P&W in this game. All right, on the blue lines, we have team 6443. That's Aimbot from Hillsboro, Oregon. And team, after them, coming on this Blue Alliance is Team 670 Homestead Robotics from Cupertino, California. And last but not least on this Blue Alliance, Team 973, that's the Graybots. They are from, oh no, I should have practiced this. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, Atascadero? Thank you, Mason. <laughs> I, it's a save for the Brazil earlier, I guess. <laughs> and 9442, Miso Mechanics from Seattle, Washington on the Red Alliance. They're partnered up with their, with their friends from the PNW 2046 Bear Metal from Maple Valley, Washington. And joining them is 6036 Peninsula Robotics, coming from locally Palo Alto, California. Tom, all 